YouTube world, Kevin Yuan Rock Music here. So today I'm going to be doing a guitar tutorial of Young and Manners by Fall Out Boy. When the song was released, Edda, you know, you'll know this story. I absolutely despise this song with all of my soul. It was the worst Fall Out Boy song I've ever heard in my life. The chorus, the high pitch vocals, it messed up my ears. Oh, it was terrible. Come 19 hours later after the release though, it's one of my favorite Fall Out Boy songs and actually songs of all time to be honest. I love it so much. So today I'm going to be teaching you the verses and the chorus. So let's get straight to it and be champions. Alright, so the first, the first few riffs are going to sound a bit like this. So essentially, the song is built around power chords. So f for this, for these two first riffs, what you're gonna do is power chord on the fifth string on the first fret. So one, three, and three. So that's the first power chord. Then you move down to the second fret on the top string. And now back on the fifth string, power chord again on the sixth fret. So. And then on the, th the third top string, you're going to go on the 6th fret, and then 4th fret, so. And now the second variation of that riff is going to be on the top string, 6th fret, 2nd fret, and then 4th fret. Then six, four again, and then for the so you play those riffs three times, and then you go to the choruses. It's mostly just power uh, palm meeting. So it's the same power chords, so the 6th on the top string, 2nd on the top string, and then 6th fret on the 5th string. So those are the verses wiped out, well the first verse, I'm not too sure about the second verse, there's a lot of little sneaky riffs here and there, and I haven't been able to, I haven't learned them yet, so when I do learn them, I'll teach you. And then the chorus, oh I love the chorus. It's really crazy. So, similar notes to the verses. So, on the fifth string, first fret, power chord. And then on the top string, second fret. And now we're doing something different. We're not doing a power chord. It's six on the top string, six on the fifth string, and sixth fret on the fourth string. So you just hold it down. So. And then, so you do that, and then you play twice. And then move to the ninth fret. So first fret on the fifth string, second fret on the top string, and then six. And that's essentially it for Young and Menace. Just play around with the different variations. Like the second variation of the ver first verse isn't a real thing. It doesn't sound right, but it's, it's just fun to play. It's better to play something which sounds different than just playing the exact same thing over and over again. It just sounds really bland and boring. So yeah, I really hope that helped. And yeah, if you learn Young and Menace from this video, give it a massive thumbs up, give it a chuck a comment down below and thank you so much and yeah recommend me what song I should do next